Hi, I'm Angela Gordon, guest faculty with NIOMP. I teach the Overhead Throwing Athlete course, and we're going to go over a little bit of information that you'll get in the course today. And one of the specific things I wanted to talk about today was the assessment of the glenohumeral ligament um, stress test of the shoulder. I think this is a very important assessment to include in any evaluation for the shoulder, and most importantly for the overhead athlete because of the extreme range of motion that overhead athletes have in their shoulder and the propensity for capsular um, lax laxity in the shoulder. We're going to go ahead and start by assessing the capsular ligaments of the glenohumeral joint. We're going to do a gross movement of the capsule and to distinguish if there is any pain coming from the capsule. So your first position is arm in neutral. You're going to bring the, the arm into a slight extension. You're going to move it out into 90 degrees of shoulder abduction into horizontal abduction and internal rotation. So if at any point you do have pain in that capsular assessment, you're going to come back and distinguish out which capsular ligament is the cause of that pain. The first position is going to assess the superior glenohumeral ligament. And in this position, you're going to stabilize the arm with your body. You're going to stabilize the scapula against the table. Your other hand is going to come onto the humeral head, and you're going to glide the humeral head anterior. That's going to assess your superior glenohumeral ligament. So at 45 degrees of abduction, you're going to glide the humeral head anterior, and that's going to assess the middle glenohumeral ligament. Then we're going to move the arm into 90 degrees of abduction and glide the humeral head anterior, and that's going to assess the anterior ligament, anterior portion of the inferior glenohumeral ligament. And then you're going to bring the arm into internal rotation at 90 degrees of abduction, and glide the humeral head posterior, and that's going to assess the posterior inferior glenohumeral ligament. At the end of the motion, you're going to come back and you can come forward through the capsule ligament and actually go through into a horizontal abduction and internal rotation, and that's also going to stress the posterior inferior glenohumeral ligament. So the last thing I wanted to show you guys today about the glenohumeral capsule assessment is uh, a way that you can assess for posterior shoulder capsular tightness as well. In the overhead athlete, it's the posterior capsule tightness is always a big debate as whether it exists or not. And the way that I look at the shoulder for my overhead athletes is trying to assess the posterior capsule when the glenohumeral joint is actually centered in the, in the glenoid fossa. So in order to properly do that, you need to palpate the posterior aspect of the shoulder and come off the acromion and palpate just in that indentation right to the medial side of the posterior aspect of the acromion. And then I'm taking my web, web space of my hand onto the anterior aspect of the, glen of the humeral head and I'm going to glide the humerus into neutral position into the glenoid first. And then from that position, I'm going to glide the humeral head posterior to assess whether or not the capsule is actually tight. A lot of clinicians will start in this position and glide the humerus back without centering the glenohumeral head first, which can give you a false indication of whether what the capsule actually feels like. 